Well, BookTube, I decided to make another video. It's still a Monday night. I downloaded the video I made earlier. I was sharing my reflections on this <coughs> on this novel, The Future Will Be Long, a novel by Jarrett Kobach. I didn't fail to mention he's he's a Turkish American. It says back here, Jared Kobeck is a Turkish American writer living in California. He is the author of the of the novella ATA ATTA 2011 and the novel I Hate the Internet 2018, an international bestseller that has appeared or is scheduled to appear in seven languages. <coughs> so yeah, I made that video and I did it at the top of my head. There was no censorship. Uh, as I as I mentioned, I watched my videos over. And when I was watching that video, my reflections on this novel, The Future Won't Be Long by Jarrett Quebec, I realized that there are things I said that could be misinterpreted or twisted. But that's one thing I have said countless times in my videos about, about being a Christian, being an evangelical. I'm, you know, I go by the Bible. Of course, some people might say, well, I go by the Bible. But one thing I've said is that one reason why I stopped going to church <laughs> is because I didn't want to be unguarded in my speech. I didn't want to be always scrutinizing or... Now, I believe that you got to speak in love, that you've got to... You've got to be sensitive to where people are at. You've got to be loving. You've got to speak with graciousness. You've got to speak with humility. You don't want to come off, you know, being a loudmouth or being arrogant or proud or argument argumentative but so I'm aware of all those things and uh, but like in that last video when I shared my reflections I was just trying to be as truthful about what you know just you know as I've been reading this novel I had all these thoughts and I just thought why not share them because I'm always showing in my videos books. I just show book after book after book after book. And I tell you what I'm reading or what I've read or what I've read in the past. But I don't really go extensively into what, how I've thought about that book or what has it meant to me or what my, my reflections are. And so, so when I mentioned in that, not this video, but the, when the, previous videos that I was thinking about sharing my reflections one of my commenters said he would look he would want me to to make a video like that so I did even though now I'm probably I hope I don't get a lot of thumbs down <laughs> I you know I want to be I want to be liked I don't want to come off being a bummer I don't want to come off being negative or being hypercritical because that's that's never my intention. I, I by nature I I'm, I don't like conflict. I'm a man of peace. I don't like to argue. I don't like to debate. When I come to book two, my my main goal is just to share my love for books. But as I have said, I'm a Christian book lover and. Uh, I like to talk about Christian books, not just secular books or secular literature. And that when I do talk about non-Christian books, obviously if I'm a Christian, I might have I might be critical of some of their of some of their positions or some of their philosophical uh, presuppositions or some of what they think is approvable behavior in this world. Because as a Christian, there is the way of holiness and there is the way of wickedness. There's the way of walking with God and the way of rebelling against God and living 
in sin than as a way of living in righteousness. And so novels are always, or books are always going to show those kinds of lifestyles. Those who love God and those who are living in, in hatred of God and rebellion. So as a Christian, you're always looking at that, especially me. I mean, I've been a Christian going on 49 years, and that's just how I think. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, that I have a perfect understanding of all things, but I try to be as, as honest and as loving as I can without stepping on people's toes or being, you know, offensive. But that's why when I look at when you have a booktube or YouTube, it asks you what, describe yourself. And I, I have described myself as a Christian evangelical bookworm. So I would assume that people, when they look at my videos or come to my videos, are just going to realize I'm a Christian. And that I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be dis, deceitful. So anyway, I just want you to know that I made that video about this book, not just to be a, offensive or to. I was just sharing from the inner recesses of my being, and I didn't filter. I I wasn't. There was no censorship. And that's what I like to be. I like to be, you know, out front and being honest, but not in a way that's, you know, ugly and mean or cruel. Anyway, this is Monday Reads. Like I said, I read this today. The Future Will Be Long, a novel by Jericho Beck. Uh, you know, I'm almost done with it. I got, you know, I mentioned uh, I would, last week I got this out of the, the, the library, the the book nook, it was, I got it out of the, one of the books that was taking out of circulation. The Magic of Shirley ja Jackson, a, a generalist selection of her work consisting of three books. The Bird's Nest, Life Among the Savages, Raising Demons, 11 short stories, including the world famous short story, The Lottery. I showed you this, and I mentioned that there had been a biography that had been published recently and I really wanted it. Well, I did order it used and I got it in the mail today. And this is the biography. I know, I'm always buying biographies. I just got a biography in Nietzsche. I got a biography in Herman Hesse. I've got all kinds of biographies. But this one was just used and it came in the mail today. Shirley Jackson, A Rather Haunted Life by Ruth Franklin. It's like if I have a, a writer, I like to have a biography to go with my collection of their writings. So I have this. Talking about biographies, today I volunteered at the Book Nook and I bought this little book by Edith, Edith uh, Eden O'Brien, who's a very famous Irish writer. I collect her writings. This is a little, this is in the Penguin Lives series. This is on James Joyce. And last night, I read, in between watching professional football, William H. Gass Reader, and tonight I've been reading the stories so far of Deborah Essenberg. And in the mornings, I've been reading John chapter 1 through 12, Reformation Commentary and Scripture. And I looked at this this morning before I went to the book nook. I got this in the mail the other day. Jesus in Jerusalem, The, At the Last Days by Eckhart Chanabel. Sh I looked this up on Google Translate last night. It's Ch 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 Chabelle. And so I looked at this this morning. It's more like a reference book. It's not, you know, there is some theological commentary on the last days of Jesus, but there's a lot of just reference material. Like the first part of the book is all the people that are mentioned in that last week of Jesus, the, the disciples and the high priest and all these people. And he gives little biographical sketches of these people, the disciples like Philip and John of 
son of Zab Zab Zebedee, Thomas, you know, Simon Peter, the beloved, John the beloved, you know. So, yeah, so that's what my Monday reads is. I ended my diary today on page 955 for the year 2018. So that's my Monday reads. I got books coming in the mail all this week. It's just all these books coming in. I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm going to pay for them all. <laughs> but I, I keep telling my wife so she won't be flipped out when she sees these books packages pouring into the house. I don't think there's that many more. I mean, I got the Reformation commentary on the Psalms, James Salter, and I don't know what else I got coming. I think that's it. Because I got this in the mail today, this Shirley Jackson biography. I don't think, and I got this Jesus in Jerusalem in the last days. I got a Reformation commentary, and I got those uh, un, the unpublished writings of James Salter. I think that's about it, but that's still a lot of books. So anyway, this is my Monday Reads. Like I said, I hope that you will realize that I want to be a man of peace. I want to love my neighbor. I want to do good. I want to be a light in the world. I don't want to be a bummer. <laughs> I don't want to be... I don't, I don't try to be offensive or mean-spirited. So, I, but like, you know, people wanted to hear my reflections on the novel... The Future Will Be Long by Jericho Beck. And so I was brave and I just let it fly. And like I said in my video, I just shared my reflections like I would if my wife was across from me in the dining room and I was, you know, and I'll be talking about this book like I'd be talking to my wife. Of course, my wife's a Christian. So, anyway. I hope you're having a good Monday. Have a good week. I don't know. I'll be making a video because my wife is off the next five nights. And I want to catch up with her. Spend time with her. Now that she'll be off. I've, I've missed her greatly the last week. Her being gone off visiting our daughter and her family there in Denver. So anyway, I'll sign off. Until, one, until next time, bye.